I'm Pastor Gary Collins, Personal Ministries Director for Central States Conference. As your Personal Ministries Director, my main responsibility is to work alongside of your church's Personal Ministries Leader, their team, and your pastor to train, equip, and mobilize each one of you for the work of the ministry, the finishing of God's work, so that we can go home. I'm saying it doesn't matter what your profession is. You could be a teacher, doctor, lawyer, mechanic, a homemaker, it doesn't matter. You are first and foremost a minister. And as a minister, we are in desperate need of your gifts and efforts to help finish God's work in this part of the vineyard. Personal ministries leaders from across the country have come together and we have planned a concerted assault against the kingdom of Satan. We have designated May 4th as Touch 10,000 Day. We have also chosen 10 cities across the country to help spearhead this effort. St. Louis, you have been chosen to be one of those 10 cities. You are our flagship city. And on May the 4th, we are asking all the churches to work together to touch 10,000 people with the love of God. Can you imagine what would happen if 10,000 people are touched on May the 4th? How many of those would be Bible studies? How many of those would eventually become members of our church working alongside of us, set free from the bondage of sin and death? Oh man, the, the possibilities are endless. Now to help this effort be a success, I have invited the creator of the Touch 10,000 program, Pastor Van Dion Griffith, who is the Associate Youth Ministries Director for the North American Division. He's going to come to St. Louis on March the 2nd. He's going to preach at Agape, Sabbath morning, Sabbath afternoon, he's going to run a training session. Now I need each one of you to uh, attend that training, especially our personal ministries leaders, their teams, and our pastors. There's not only going to be training, but also strategizing on how we can reach 10,000 people in one day. In closing, I was reading in the Word of God where Jesus said, Upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Upon this rock, speaking of himself, I'll build my church, speaking of us gates of hell shall not prevail against us. He's letting us know that if we prayerfully move forward in the name of Jesus Christ, there is nothing the devil can do when we go to set the captives free. So let's move forward, saints. Let's try this new approach. I believe that this is the beginning of something great. God is with us and he's going to bless us. Have a wonderful day. And may God bless each and every one of you.